Afternoon headlines are brought to you by Palm Coast Ford, your hometown dealer. Hello everyone, I'm Jared Malden with your afternoon headlines for Monday. A Matanzas High School student is arrested for fighting another student, then turning on a school resource deputy. That's today's top story. School administrators say 18-year-old Alan Brown walked into the cafeteria, removed his shirt, then began punching a 15-year-old student who was sitting at a table. The surveillance video is pixelated, but you can see the incident unfold in the upper center of the screen. School staff and school resource deputy John Landy separated the two students. After Landy gave clear verbal warnings, Brown then attacked Landy. Landy was punched multiple times by Brown, knocking him to the ground. Landy then deployed his taser, striking Brown in the left torso before being secured. Brown is charged with battery, battery on a law enforcement officer and disruption of a school function. Next, we turn our attention to the cost of Old Kings Road. It may be a story of counting their chickens before they're hatched, but now, after Old Kings Road has been expanded, it's time for the property owners to pay up. It was a deal that would benefit everyone, or so it seemed. Walmart planned on building a second Pomco store, this one on Old Kings Road. So landowners planned ahead and told the city they'd pay for the city to expand the road to four lanes from State Road 100 to Pomcoast Parkway. That's if the city would move forward with the project sooner than planned. And now, with the big box store missing in action, the city is debating on the best way to recoup their money. And from whom? The city council approved a $5.3 million loan from the utility fund to a special taxing district, which left the landowners on the hook. So far, landowners have only paid interest, which has amounted to $640,000. Now, landowners on the southern end of Old Kings Road, who received the four-lane expansion, say all the landowners along the road should pay. However, those on the northern end disagree, saying their portion was never built, so they shouldn't have to pay right now. What's clear at this point is the city council is expected to vote on May 21st on an interlocal agreement with the tax collector's office to begin collecting their money back. Officials with the city say a lien was put on the properties to ensure the owners have incentive to pay the money back. Whispering Meadows Ranch provides recreational, educational, and equine programs to people with special needs and disabilities. This year, during the ranch's annual spring event, visitors may have noticed a few changes while they were dancing. Students at FPC High School and the Flagler Technical Institute worked at the ranch to plant a new garden and build a new swing set. Money raised from the event buys material for projects at the ranch and will also help pay the veterinary bills for one of the therapy horses, which recently underwent surgery for colic. And those are your afternoon headlines for Monday. For news anytime, log on to our website at pumpcoastobserver.com and like us on Facebook. I'm Jared Malden, and from everyone here at The Observer, thanks for watching. Hi folks, Don York, General Manager of Palm Coast Ford, and I'd like to invite you down to check out Ford's all new fuel efficient lineup, like the all new C-Max Energy. At Palm Coast Ford, go further for less. Palm Coast Ford, your hometown dealer.